This is the plaintiff, Elizabeth O'Connor. She says she unknowingly rented her house out to the defendant and to high schoolers who were celebrating their graduation, and the monsters destroyed their once lovely place. There were beer cans all over the place, the door was bashed in, and these kids acted like pigs at a trash the house festival. Bottom line, they want to teach the defendant and her unruly friends a lesson, and are going to hit them where it hurts by suing them for the $2,162.06 she's owed. This is the defendant, Alexis Chicatelli. She says the plaintiff is grossly overreacting because she would never trash a house or allow anyone else to for that matter. She left no beer cans around, cleaned everything before she left, and this lady's blowing everything out of proportion seeking a big payday or something like that. She's accused of being a party animal. All parties, please raise your right hand. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum, the People's Court. <laughs> All right, guys, have a seat, please. Thank you. It slays me when you... Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Elizabeth O'Connor? Yes. You are suing Alexis... Wait, let me try to get it. Checatelli? Yes. And Rachel Hoppy? Who's Rachel Hoppy? She's not here. Okay, you have power of attorney for that? Who's Rachel Hoppy to you? Though? My cousin. Your cousin. For $2,162.06 in damages that you say they did to your rental property. Tell me what happened. Yes. We had rented our property through Flipkey. Where is it? It's on Cape Cod, it's in Harwich on Cape Cod. Okay. Um, we bought it five, almost six years ago. Uh, have done, have put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it. And we want people to enjoy themselves, but not perhaps as much as it would seem that this particular group did. So uh, we left the day before they came. Uh, they came. So you were, were there right before they came? Yes. And I got a phone call from her mother, um, from Who's mother? Alex Alexis's mother, sorry. Okay. I believe on Thursday. Um, and she called me because Alexis reported that the glass of the storm door had been broken. This and is she during was, the week tenancy. This is, this is during, during the week. During tenancy, the week. you think everything's fine. There's no problems coming up. Correct. All right. Then you get a call from her mother. Her mother. How old did you think Alexis was? I, I had no idea. Because I it was rented out through a website? Through, through a website. It was my understanding, I think through word of mouth, I have to admit I'm not sure um, where I got this impression, is that you cannot ask any demographic questions of your proposed renter. So not age, race, Why wouldn't you be able to ask the age? I don't want to rent to a 14-year-old. Uh, it's yeah, not a I binding know. contract. I, I need I, to know how old somebody is to know that they can contract. I, I know. You're not 14, right? How old are you? 18. She's 18. 18. So, so she is contra of contractual age, um, would be my She's of contractual age, but would you I'm have rented to a bunch of 18-year-olds celebrating their high school graduation? Absolutely not. Okay. So, um, actually, we have changed our contract going forward. We have put a minimum of 25 yeah. uh, due to this experience. So, I mean, Alexis herself may be a great kid. She said that she had gotten uh, sunburned and she was down for the count from Wednesday through uh, Sunday when they left. Um, her mom did call when they did, had the damage to the uh, storm door. What happened to the storm door? So we were going to the beach one and morning. And who's we? I wasn't there, but it was the rest of the house was going to okay. the beach. Who's the rest of the house? Who are they? These are my friends. They were with me. Okay, how old are you? 18? 18. How old are they? 18 and 19. Everybody there is 18 and 19? Yes. Stand up. Come on over here. Stand next to us. They look really young to me. They are, that person right there is not 18. I know. How old are you? <laughs> no, she Seriously? is. Seriously? Yeah. All right, darling. Why were you guys renting a house on Cape Cod? What was the celebration? So we just graduated. And from high school. We, we kind of wanted to get from together. From high school? Yes, okay. yes, from high school. All right, so go ahead. Okay, well, they, they walked out, and the storm door slammed behind them, and it broke. I was told, and that's what I called. Who was it who walked out and the storm door slammed behind them? A couple them. of the guys were carrying one of the coolers <laughs> to go to the beach. None of them are here with us. They're okay. away at college. But, um... They were walking out with the cooler and they let the door slam behind them and it slammed. And then I called my mom because I wasn't sure what to do. I know I wanted to call and tell her and let her know what happened. But I just, I mean, I talked to my mom. She gives me advice. Here? Yeah, she's, 
She probably didn't want me to point her out, but she's over there in the purple shirt. In the corner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wave mom. <mark. laughs> um, so yeah. So then it's it slammed, it broke. I was informed of it, called my mom, which we then got in contact with her because I wanted and to that's let her when know you right got away. a call from a mom, what, yes. what did you think? Oh my gosh. Actually, I got a call from the mom and I thought, hmm. Boy, she sounds young. The mother sounded young. The so mother thought, sounded young. Okay. So, Yay. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, they were being very responsible in uh, trying to, to address it you. right away. Right. So I said, mm, So you tell down. the mom, all right, just the window. Don't worry about it. That'll probably, the security deposit will cover it. I'll get back right. to you. And then you go to see the house. Right. And according to you, what do you see? We were stunned. Uh, there was lots of trash. There were some beer cans around the yard. We have beer pictures. Beer cans. Of- How many beer cans did you find in the yard? Um, actually, he probably found them 200? more than me. Uh, more like 40 or 50. 40 or 50 and, beer cans in the on yard? the ground? Not in the yard. No, just no the yard. I'm asking in the yard. Oh, in the yard. Four or five. There was one on top of the water heater in the basement. Uh-huh. So it was, every, every room was a surprise. Okay. So go on. Okay. So we thought um, that our refrigerator had been stolen. It's a small refrigerator that we kept for condiments, juice, things like that for between renters for us. I called the police thinking it had been stolen. Right. And I kept looking and I eventually found it in a closet upstairs in one of the bedrooms. There was a Who, dehumidifier. They're all looking at each other trying to figure out who took the fridge. No. Which of you took we, the fridge? We know who you took did? the fridge. Oh, Step no. over to the microphone. No, Step no. over to the microphone. The, the, the guys took the fridge. How many of the guys were there? There's Four? Three. Four three. guys, and no, they were three. staying in which three room? Guys. Three guys, and they were staying in which room? In the room that there was, was three, three beds. beds. How many people did you have there? Ten. Ten. Oh, you did not. Ten we is the max ten. that you're supposed to have under the we, contract. Yeah. But there's not a soul in this room who thinks that at any point in your seven days you only had ten people. Well, no, we we had had so now come up. fess up and tell me for reals how many people actually slept there. Nobody slept. No, we never had more than 10 people sleeping there. Nobody slept? No. Well, nobody slept. Now you're saying something I believe. <laughs> so, okay, go on. What else did you see that was wrong? Dan went from room to room. There was a curtain that Go ahead, been... Dan, you tell me about it. Well, we have a couple so, things here to okay. look at. What is that? This is a recliner. That was in uh, the that Sabrina Megan's room. So what happened there? It was broken. And the, the, the frame's broken. I can't just glue it. It's really, re- really most sincerely dead. Most yes. sincerely yes. dead. Yes, and what, why did you bring this? Because we think that they sat on it. And again, the, you know, it's not a very expensive table. Oh, I understand. But it's, again, another room. And, it and looks then we like can't replace it. Up. And then let the, we have, again, a picture. I had to hunt for this. <laughs> what and is that? This is a cushion from a chair in our family room. And... We went looking for it because it wasn't there. I have a picture of the cushion they put there, and I thought it was stolen again. <laughs> a cushion? It, yeah, well, it turns out it had red marks all over it. So it had been kind of, you know, we, we've had it. Where did you find it? In, in one of the closets. And again, it's just, it's the kind of thing where you go. So the one side's okay, the other side has some like. Yeah, we, we had it cleaned all red. What kind of uh, stains were those? Black marker? No, and red. No, no. Red she, marker. Like fuchsia. No, because sometimes when you take out the black, it looks red after the stain's gone. I have not but, a stain but it's not gone. But. And this is a picture but of Apparently, the, I am a stain <laughs> person. So, yeah, maybe what's that's this? A pic, that's a picture of the, the a before picture of the chair when it was intact. Okay. So, go on. So, um, how old is that recliner? I know you call, what was it you call it? A mid-century something something? Yeah, we went on eBay to find out, how, you know, they're currently being sold. How old is it? $1,200. It's from the 1960s. Right, but that's kind of, you know, they're currently being sold kind of really expensive as the, if they're like from one of the mid-century designers. Or and that's it what is. this is. Well, who, is. Who made that? It, it's it a Milo James. Bauman. So what's your answer to the chair? Honestly, I didn't see it happen. I was told about it after and we were told that. You some, were told about it by whom? Um, one of the girls that was staying in that room. She oh, said that so she put her s- luggage on it and it broke, but by looking at it. You know, I can believe that once or twice, but I can't just keep believing it's innocent and right. not mm-hmm. neglect when over There's and over things get chair. broken. You right. know what I mean? I like you can't tell me, oh, the slam door. We, we used it as a regular door. It broke on its own. Oh, we used it as a regular chair. It broke on its own. Like at some point it starts to become ridiculous, you know? What that happened to the wall? Glass. What happened to the wall? Somebody sat on it and it broke. What do you think happened to the wall? I think it's an older wall, and they were, yeah, we thought initially maybe they were trying to jump to play basketball. Uh, I think uh, one of the other surprises is when we actually talked to our neighbor, <laughs> and from, whom, from whom we've had an affidavit sent, 
He lives in uh, Toronto. Okay, an affidavit means it's sworn. Is it, it sworn? Is. It yes. Is. Okay, can I see it? Because the copy I saw wasn't, so I just want to see it. But the, the slip and slide. I, I David Vanderbrug, observed the following events. Drinks were flowing. It was a real party scene during the day. People going in and out of the front door, up and down the stairs, in the garage relentlessly. Boom box on. Boom box. Do you guys even know what a boombox is? The one that's on your shoulder, right? Yeah, that's like, like in the old times, right? But you guys don't do that. You have like a Bose Mini, you know, Bluetooth wireless yeah. thing. Your parents get <laughs> okay. <laughs> boombox on. The drinks are flowing. I saw a lot of those red plastic beer cups in use. They even made a water slide extending from the yeah, formal the front door the down to the road's there. edge, laying out a long plastic sheet and rearranging the hoses to provide water. <clears throat> do you guys do that? Sure. That was a great idea. Thank you. All right, a plastic chair with the hoses to provide water. To their credit, the boom box was turned off by 11 p.m. daily. Okay. What is this a picture of? Broken frame window. Yeah, the reason okay. we had to replace the storm door was because the frame was missing. So that's just the door before it was broken. And then I found this frame for the window. So the glass and the frame was off? Yes. Okay, twenty-two fifty for marker on the cushion. Oh, because you attempted to clean it. To the cleaners. So and then five hundred and fifty-eight dollars for cushion cover replacement. I have a letter from. It wouldn't cost that. I mean, would it even cost that much to recover the couch? Because it's just really, a if you flip that, I know you're mad. But if you flip the cushion, you can't even see the marker, right? Because you know, as, as a judge, what I have to do. I, I get exactly what you're saying, okay? This, you don't want to come home to a place. It's your home. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into this place, and then it appears that other people don't take care of it the way you wish that they would. And in all fairness, you guys, you know, you, you are now entering adulthood. You can't break the door. You can't break the chair. You can't break the... I realize that there were a lot of people that are control, but, man, you really took a risk putting it on all under your name. Yeah. I mean, I didn't predict any of this to happen at all. I didn't really think, I guess, too much into the consequences of it right you know I just I don't understand. I mean what you want to do is everybody who's staying there should be ponying up some deposit you know what I mean that's how it should work yeah and welcome back to the People's Court Harvey Levin here we are in front of the TMZ Hollywood tour bus uh, in Los Angeles kind of like blending the two things and there are a lot of people here looking for celebrities and I can find them here I'll tell you that um, if you rent a house out and um, you find out that the person wants to hold a high school graduation party. Lean over for me. Would you do it? Uh, no, that's a bad idea. They're Why? Gonna, they're going to destroy your place. Is that automatic? They're going to destroy your place? Uh, not necessarily. Um, they could... Um... Well, you know what? Here's the deal. If you say not necessarily, there's one thing I can say to you. Sucker. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. All right. Here's what's going to happen, folks. Here's a shocker I'm finding in favor of the plaintiff, okay? <laughs> the question is how much, and here's how much. You can look at that and you can say, come on, this is a really old chair, it's junk, whatever else. That chair happens to be a chair that on the internet goes for $600. The storm door, I'm awarding them the complete amount. The table leg, that's a little bit of a stretch. I'm going to award you the, what you could get at a garage sale for it, because that's different than, you know, it's, you it's get not, what you get. It's not fine furniture. I don't pretend that it is. Gotcha. Um, I'm awarding you $30 for the table. The marker on the cushion, you're certainly getting the dry cleaning bill. I hate to say this because I feel cruel, but flip the cushion. Because we both, we all know that you're not going to pay $558 if you can flip the cushion. You know, how do you really know it wasn't there beforehand? All right, based on everything that I'm listening to, I am awarding you $1,378.50 in damages. That you already have $300, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's $1,078.50 in damages, verdict for the plaintiff. Yeah. Everybody else is gonna have to get a summer job and pitch in. I already do. Thank you. All right, so here they all come out from the defendant side of things. Uh, do the talking. I mean, Obviously, things were broken in her house, and I'm happy that she does have some money to pay for it, but I'm glad that we don't have to pay the total mm. of... Well, they got almost half of what they sued for, uh, something like that. Uh, it's one thing to be cute and young and having a great time, and that's great, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's another thing to be irresponsible. Yeah. Definitely Just don't think we're bit. irresponsible. We're not, but we, people are, kids are kids, and 
We all do stupid mm. things. Mm-hmm. High school, right. So. And or sure a good time. And or inconsiderate. Definitely not. Definitely not. No. We didn't go in there with the intentions yeah. on trashing their home. We got no. Judged for being too young, and then they exaggerated a few things. So. Okay. So uh, you have any apologies for any of your behaviors here? I'm sorry. Mm. So many things got broken, but yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't my mm-hmm. behavior that caused. Are they going to pay for broken. any of this stuff? Everybody's going to pay for it. Okay. All right. Head right. Head right around the corner this way. Step on in here and. What do you think of the outcome here? I'm satisfied. I know how these things work, and I think the judge tried to be as fair as she could. All right. What in the world are you doing renting to a bunch of kids like that? Never again. We have a new contract that says 25 and older. We were not ever aware that this could be done 18 years old. It was a surprise. Ever met any 18-year-olds? Uh, I've been one. We, we, yeah, weren't you? Were you ever one? <laughs> Certainly. Uh, Once upon a time. <laughs> well, right, so we understand, but my goodness. Yeah. Harvey? Okay, just FYI, there's some talk about this in the case. You can absolutely ask how old people are who are going to be attending the event if you're going to rent your house out. There's just no doubt about that.